hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua Matu. if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can notify anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a birthday roll-up banner using adobe photoshop before any further i do let's get started now go to your file go to new and make use of inches and here is the dimension i'm going to use 13.944 then and the height i'm going to use 32.806 inches then reduce your resolution All right, then here are the resources I'm going to use. Then I'm going to import this. Then scale it out. All right. The second thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to import this image, then scale it out to increase the size. Then position it somewhere around here, duplicate it, then select the first one, then Take it back to this position. Okay. You can position it at anywhere you like. Then I'm going to rasterize it. Hold your shift plus control key. Then you press U to desaturate it. Reduce the opacity to any number of your choice. Yeah, I'm using 19. I may reduce it or increase it. Then this is 16 now. So I'm going to leave it as 16. Okay. Then here I'm going to copy the color code. I'm going to use and this is the dimension number. Then go to your solid color. Ctrl plus V to paste. This color was extracted from the image background then i'm going to change the blending mode to luminosity so that the color we blend with the material in this image all right then Following this, I'm going to import this one. Then take it up. Increase the size. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. Drag it back. So you can see the shining light over there. Now, apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool or you press G using your keyboard while you blend over here. Then select your test tool. Then increase your font size. And I'm going to change the font to Open Sans, make it bold. Then go to your test document and I'm going to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the font size. Then change the color to red. Okay. 
Now go to your drop shadow. Then increase the size. And change the blending to normal. Then I may come back to adjust the drop shadow after this. Then change it to color dodge. Okay. Then I'm going back to adjust the drop shadow. Then I'm going to increase the size to Okay, 18 is okay. 13 is okay. Then I'm going to import this decorative art here. Then increase the size. Select your test tool. Then change the font color to black. Increase the size. Then I'm going to change the font to Helvetica. Make it bold. Reduce the size. Then duplicate it. Highlight it. Then change it to zero. Then I'm, I'm going to position it around here, something like this. Then apply a gradient color. In my previous design, then this is the same gradient color I use. So make use of this setting here, the size 3. And I'm going to I'm going to leave the contour. Then apply drop shadow with the same setting over here. Click OK. Then hold your Alt key while you drag this layer style to this zero. That is to copy and paste it. Then position it over here. All right. I'm going to duplicate this zero here. Drag it up here, highlight it, and change the text. Reduce the font size. something like this okay then go back to your test document to copy your test select your test to the control plus v to paste then i'm using the font feeling good feeling script
then I will drag this image down so that you can see the picture then I will import this one first then I'll position it somewhere here then duplicate it then position this one around here then go back to your test document I mean your resource file Then I'm going to copy the name, select a test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to this font over here. All the fonts are in the test document. Then you can check the description to get the font. reduce the character spacing to minus 16 make it bold select the divider and reduce the size duplicate the name reduce the font size then change the character spacing to zero then copy the other name highlight it the ctrl plus v to paste now open the character spacing then drag it up around over here okay then bring the second divider reduce the size and position it around here all right so now apply vertical alignment to centralize it So you can see the outcome of it now. Then I'm going to draw a rent angle. And I'm going to make use of this color from the background. Now apply a corner shape not that too much it's okay like this then come over to your test documents to copy your test select your test tool then close the character spacing to zero then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font to open sans make it semi bold then open the space then apply center alignment All right then you drag it up now i'm going to draw another rent angle leave the color at white drag it up then 
then copy the last test here ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste so this is what i'm going to use you can use any other thing or any other test Then apply your vertical alignment to centralize it. So this is the outcome of the design. So this is how you can design a roller banner. So the most thing is to know the dimension so the dimension is very important for roller banner so yeah we have come to the end of this tutorial please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video and do not forget if you want to create a fiverr account then there is a link in the description then click on it to create a fiverr account and if you want to optimize your video then you don't have to worry what you have to do is to create a two body account the link is in the description there thank you so much for watching i really appreciate